Hello, hello and welcome back. Today I will be covering 10 more tips and tricks for Stalker Gamma. Once again, these tips are targeted at the Gamma mod pack, but a lot can be used in vanilla or other mod packs. If you are enjoying my content, subscribing to the channel would be greatly appreciated. If you have any questions, come join me live on Twitch, link will be in the description. I hope to see you guys there. Do you have a bunch of items that you want to sell but don't know who to sell to to get the most money? Selling items works similar to Escape from Tarkov. If you aren't familiar, the basics are each trader will only buy some items, typically the ones that relate to their profession, with some traders paying more for certain items than others. In Stalker, there are five types of traders. General traders, medic traders, bar traders, mechanic traders, and scientist traders. So how do you get the most money? Well, you want to be selling ammo, explosives, weapon parts, attachments, repair kits and upgrade kits to mechanic traders, all meds to medic traders, food and drink to bar traders, and artifacts to scientist traders. Mutant parts should be sold to butcher who is located in train hangar in garbage. Any other item can just be sold to the general trader. Now, everyone's biggest question when playing Stalker, where can I find expert tools? The answer isn't simple unfortunately. Finding expert tools is purely based on luck, but what I can do is give you some helpful tips that may assist you in finding them. Firstly, expert tools can only be found above the army warehouse, indicated by the red line, so don't bother wasting time looking anywhere in the south. Typically, I like to search for tools in outskirts as it is relatively safe with the only real threat being mutants. However, it is quite a hassle to get there. The quickest way is to take the guide from Rostock to Jupiter for 6,000 rubles, then go to Zaton for 2,000 rubles, then to outskirts for 5,000 rubles. This is quite expensive as it will cost you 26,000 rubles to get there and back, so make sure you have multiple stashes there to make it worth it. Otherwise, there is a stash located here in Radar which is relatively safe to get. You may come across a few mutants on the way, but because it is so close to the space restrictor, it is quite safe. It is also easily accessible as it is right next to the army warehouse. Uh, I feel like going on the stop sign messes up my jump if I just do it from like here. There we go, nice. And there we have it. Ah, oh, finally! Next tip is a must whenever you're going out on a trip anywhere. Always carry at least one antibiotic on you at all times. Antibiotics, when taken, will cause you to black out for 45 minutes. It will also fully heal your health and your limbs. But the main use for this medication is to survive in a mission. Say you are out in the middle of nowhere and you hear the infamous noise of a mission starting. With no close place to shelter, your only option is to accept your fate. However, with antibiotics, all you need to do is take them to skip the whole mission. It is kind of like a get out of jail free card. And the best part of it is that they can be bought from any medic trader for 3,000 rubles. This is an extremely good price considering they allow you to practically skip death. Charcoal can be found on most low tier stalkers such as loners or bandits. It is completely useless. It is meant to be used with a field cooking kit in order to cook mutant meats instead of having to be near a campfire, but this is a pointless requirement as the campfires can be found almost anywhere in stalker with most of them already being lit, and if not, it only costs one match to light it. Not only is charcoal useless, but is it is actually a hindrance. One bag of charcoal weighs 2.72 kilograms, which is extremely heavy for such a useless item. In Stalker, there are two different types of healing items, med kits and stim packs. Yes, there are other items which heal, but they typically have another main use case. But what is the difference? Well, stim packs will heal you quicker than med kits, but for slightly less health. They also cost more than medkits and are crafted from medkits. Stim packs only have one use whereas medkits have two. Military and science stim packs and medkits will heal your limbs, but only the stim pack will post heal your limb. Only military and science medkits will stop bleeds. Both the first aid kit and the scientific stim pack cures rads, but scientific medkits heals rads and makes you practically immune to them for 34 seconds. Last to note is that they both have the same use time. In general, you want to be using stim packs when you're in a fight as it will get you back into the fight quicker. Medkits should be used for more general healing such as radiation or anomaly damage, where there isn't an immediate threat. Located in Zaton on the abandoned boat named Skodovsk resides multiple loner traders. 
one of which is the trader Nimble. Nimble is a useful stalker as he will allow you to upgrade some of your guns for other ones. Two good upgrades that I recommend is a DVL-10 Urbana upgrade which converts the gun to shoot 338 federal rounds. These rounds are extremely good and will one shot most stalkers to the thorax. The other good example is the MP5A3 to MP5A3 Frasier. The Frasier shoots 45 ACP which when loaded with Hydroshock will shred mutants. It also can equip multiple long range optics to snipe mutants from a distance. The other service New Nimble provides is he sells every weapon attachment that you can get, albeit at a 9% increased cost. This is great for getting attachments which you cannot easily get such as NATO attachments as a duty stalker. Have you ever hired a companion only for him to have a puny Makarov? By pressing the companion order button, default is C key, or by speaking to the companion and selecting the first option, you'll be able to store items in their inventory. If you put a weapon in their inventory that has a higher base cost than their currently equipped weapon, they will equip that weapon and use it instead. You do not need to give them extra ammo for them to use the gun. This only works for guns, so sadly you can't equip better armour on your companions and have a full squad of loners with exoskeletons. Next up is a tip on how to get repaired NATO rifle parts without needing to find advanced tools. Typically, NATO rifles require the army rifle kit to replace parts in the gun. However, the AUG A3 9mm shoots a pistol calibre and therefore uses the handgun repair kit. But it is still technically an AUG, so apart from the barrel, it uses all rifle parts. This means that you can get brand new parts for multiple NATO rifles without needing advanced tools. This tip is quite specific, but is useful to know if you go to the army warehouses often from Rostock. As soon as you enter the army warehouse, if you run up to the left, you'll be able to see over the duty checkpoint. If there is a stalker there, the first thing they do is go light the campfire on the road. If this is an enemy stalker, it allows you to get an easy kill. The final tip is extremely useful if you use night vision a lot. If you have companions, they will turn on their headlamps if they deem it too dark. This can be of hindrance as it blinds your vision. By pressing the companion action button and telling all the companions to stealth, they will turn off their headlamps. The only downside is they are now crouch walking everywhere, so they will move slower. So that was 10 more tips for Stalker Gamma. Thank you all for watching and I hope you learned something. If you have any further questions or tips to suggest, feel free to join my stream while I'm live or drop a comment down below. Link to my Twitch will be in the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.